Hello, welcome to another edition of Phoebe Cook's Good Stuff. That's what this show is officially called. Um, I think it's going to be a regular thing. So, I'm cooking hamburger and french fries today. Um, I'd like to start with the fact that I started with a ciabatta roll. Thank you, Craft Food Finders Food Pantry Truck. Um, the ciabatta rolls were like originally from market, their marketplace ciabatta rolls, onion and poppy or something. They're fire. And so, yeah, that's the marketplace. That's the Walmart bakery, <laughs> which saying Walmart bakery in itself is kind of fucking ridiculous. Um, sorry, Walmart, you're the devil. But these uh, marketplace ciabatta rolls are awesome. Um, I put mayonnaise, onion, mustard. Here I have organic, non-GMO oh, tomato. Don't worry, my scraps always go to the deer outside my house. And then... I always store my onion like in a Tupperware with like whatever other vegetables I cut up and throw in stuff. Like I'll put those peppers and eggs or whatever. That's a good idea. Um, those tomatoes, just to let you know, organic non-GMO, which I mean honestly, do we really know whether that specific tomato has never been genetically modified? No we don't, but it does taste good. It, it's fresh from a garden, so I'm sure that has a lot to do with it. Um, I'll explain the sniffing. My new friend Misty brought me jalapenos. I don't care what the fuck pepper it is, unless you already know, like these like bell peppers here. It's a jalapeno. Smell it and then lick it if you have any qualms about your stuff being a little bit too spicy for your palate. So this one right here, so good, smelled just like a green pepper, lit my mouth on fire. So this is Phoebe's awesome way to solve that problem because like, and I could dice this whole thing up and make like some super spicy ass salsa, which I'm... I might do. We'll see how many tomatoes I get in the next week. Well, I've got another jalapeno. But so, I can't even, like, just, like, cut this up, mince it up, and sprinkle it on my sandwich. Because that would be too hot for me. But, like, so my in-betweener settling is to squeeze it and rub it in to the ciabatta roll. The cracker open. <laughs> Be careful that you don't get jalapeno juice in your eye. It's uh, probably safety. Okay, so that way, like, it'll be like, mmm, jalapeno, but it won't be like, oh my fucking god, I can't finish this burger. <laughs> um, thank you, Missy. It's really good. Um, homemade steak fries. Little amount of grease. A lot of steak fries. Not something that you should do. But I put them all in there. And then I just stir them around. Why? Because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. And whatever. But normally you would put fewer in at a time. But they're cooking really good. Didn't have a lot of oil. 2017. Pure vegetable oil is like... <laughs> Everything's expensive. We know it. We know when you're staring at that bacon in the grocery store and you're wishing like, man, that sucks, you know? I fucking love bacon. I wish I could have bacon, but I need the money for something more important. Uh, note to the leaders of this country. We'd like to not have, be making life and death decisions at the grocery store. I should, I'm not complaining, you know, because this isn't like the Great Depression, but we should all have bacon. 
it's, you know, and not like, you know, have to worry about bacon. Hamburger patty. This is just the, like a pre-frozen, rounded, stack of frozen patties in a bag. Um, this is just like straight up like American frozen meat. This is like full of bad stuff to some people, but for me it's yum yum yum. Okay. So, you, this could also be a veggie burger, a fucking vegan loaf, or whatever. Yeah, vegan meatloaf, sliced up, like a, uh, a fake meatloaf sandwich, or a turkey burger, you know. I mean, if I was going to patty it up, I would have been turkey burger, because I buy the, you know, the turkey burger in a tube, because it's cheaper than beef. And, oh, and I also have a jar here for the oil when I'm done because that oil is so not bad and uh, as I previously spoke of the price of food is getting getting pretty rough the burger pepperoni dip your fries in whatever you like I am not worried about my sodium currently so I put salt on them before and I will after they're done I had, now, I had one of these burgers yesterday without the jalapeno, but still the same thing. So I know that this ciabatta roll burger is like fire, like uh, really amazing. I've described it as fire twice. It is also the sun and the moon. And just before I go, cheese, for those of you who don't know how to cook. Okay, if it's orange... This is just my opinion about cheese. If it's orange, you don't want it. Unless it's like cheddar, sharp cheddar, or the cheddar that is mixed in with Colby Jack. Otherwise, just buy white cheese. Um, I've seen commercials and videos and, you know, just like that processed American cheese. Just like this one, but orange is bad for you. I think this, because it's white, it's better. Call me cheese racist, whatever. But really, like, ideally, like, I'm just doing that because if it's just, like, a burger. But if I really, and it's going to taste good with that, uh, just singles. What is it? Swiss. It's claiming to be Swiss. But, like, always, like, monster cheese, you know. Uh, same price as a pack of like any other kind of actual cheese you know which yeah, is splurged you know like three dollars so like when I'm just cooking a burger like this it gets the cheap cheese we save the monster for like special moments and these fries are looking almost done the burger is gonna be slapped on here and orgasmic in my mouth. It's going to be so good. Um, for those of you that have no freaking clue um, what to healthily feed your child, this is a good example, but add fruit. All love. I hope you feel all of it. Today is a good day, a blessed day to be alive. Peace.